Thanks for joining me today. My name is Alex Carney, here in the Technology Department at Groton School. Today, we're going to discuss how to install Office 365. Let's get started. The first step is let's open up Internet Explorer. And once it opens up, in the address bar, let's go ahead and put in portal.office365.com and hit enter. Because we use single sign-on, I'm going to have you put in your username at groton.org and hit enter. You will see a pop-up that looks like this one. Please put in your username at groton.org again, followed by your password this time. And hit enter again. After you log in, if you're a first-time user, you're going to see a page that looks like this one. I'm going to maximize the screen so it's easier for us to see. Because we want to install, let's go ahead and click on this button here and scroll down. Once we're here though, we need to find out what version of Office that we need to install. To find out, if you open up an existing Microsoft Office product, such as Microsoft Word 2010, we'll be able to find out. Once Word 2010 opens, if you hit File, Help, it's going to tell us what version of Office we have. Looks like on this computer, I have 64-bit. Depending on your version, you must match 64-bit for 64-bit or 32-bit for 32-bit. Let's go ahead and close Word 2010 now. So like I said, I had 64-bit installed. So I'm going to change the version to 64-bit and hit Install. Once you click Install, you'll see a pop-up that looks like this one. You can click Run. And you'll see a pop-up from User Account Control asking if you want to make the following changes to this computer. Because we just downloaded Microsoft Office and we know who the publisher is and that we do want to have this on our computer, we can go ahead and safely click yes. Office is now ready to install. So let's simply click next. A short little video will play. Next, we see a little screen that tells us a little something about SkyDrive. It might be helpful for you to read it. In this video, I'm simply going to click Next. This allows me to customize the look and feel of Office. I happen to like what it picked, so I'm going to simply click Next. Next, we'll see this screen. If you click on Take a Look, there's a short presentation 
that kind of tells you about the features of Microsoft Office. It might be a good idea to take a look at that. Again, in this video, I'm going to simply click on No Thank You. This is the finalization of the Office setup. This can take some time. Please leave your computer on and not in standby mode. And also, please stay connected to the internet. It's very important that you do this. And now we're all set. Office is now installed. In our next video, we'll learn how to set up SkyDrive. Thanks for watching.